I sur- choose to surround myself with people that lift me up. And that's one of the negative side effects of, of being down on yourself, being less than your potential, is that, you know, birds of a feather flock together and you end up hanging around other people that are in the same boat. And that yeah. it doesn't serve you well. Do yeah, you know I what I mean? That. Yeah, I get that. It's like you are who you hang out with. If you're going to hang out with people that not, are, are not really doing a lot of stuff for themselves, then you're less likely to do a lot of stuff for yourself. But if you're hanging around people that are trying to achieve goals, you're going to be having the attitude of wanting to achieve goals yourself. Is that right? Um, exactly right. And there's, there's science around the fact that you become like the five people you spend the most time around. There's absolutely no denying it. You know, why do you think elite athletes end up sort of progressing up, you know, like, and then, then they end up being playing for their country or whatever, and they are surrounded by the best of the best. And as a result, more often than not, they get better. Mm. Same with everything that you do. Yeah, Same okay. with everything. So, yeah, basically, you know, you keep good people around you. And like you said yourself, you subtracted all the negative people around you and, you're now achieving a lot of the stuff you want to be wanting to achieve in, in your life. Is that right? I do, and I and, and I'm really proud of that, that fact. You know, there's there's the goals that I that I set and and reset myself when I achieve them are grandiose, very very bold. And but if I'd set those goals with people that were in my life previously. And this isn't a, a slight on them either. I'm not here to bad mouth or bag anyone, mm. but it's just the next chapter of evolution. Mm. And and it's important to realise that that there's nothing necessarily personal. And people say, oh, but he's your he's your brother, or he's your sister, or, or she's your mum. Like that that for me doesn't mean anything. Not in the same context. So if someone, yeah, yeah if going, someone right? is in your life. If someone is in your life and it's a sibling or a, or a family member that does not serve you well, and I, what I mean by that is that they are, you know, they, they probably have a victim mentality, they, the world is always ending and there's always chaos and drama around them. If that doesn't serve you well as an individual, you are well within your rights to, to cut that person out of your life and set very clear ground rules saying, this doesn't work for me. I don't feel great when you and I are together. And if you would like to be involved in my life, these are the motherfucking ground rules. And yeah. and maybe you don't need to say it like that necessarily. You can do it at a yeah. time when things aren't heated, and that's really important to when you're having these discussions with people that you are doing it in a calm manner and you are never accusatory or you're never blaming them you're simply saying, look, this is, this is making me feel pretty shit and I'm not enjoying this whole process. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand.